In the beginning, we built mainframes, then PCs, then we connected them to the cloud. Now we do everything online. Online shopping and banking, social media, streaming media, mobile, smart devices, massive storage and services that live in the cloud, massive amounts of data growing exponentially. In fact, we're facing a data explosion. Data so big, it floods legacy systems. Data that crosses boundaries we can't secure. Data that's too big and too complex to move, integrate, or easily understand. And storing that data means building more data centers and using more energy. How much more? Today, the public cloud uses as much energy as Japan. Soon, it may require more energy than we can even produce. But just imagine what the world will look like when we do. Imagine a system that stores data on site but indexes it in the cloud. In this system, local apps work together to securely share information and solve problems as a distributed mesh. Tomorrow's cloud isn't just a massive storehouse of data, it's a learning engine. We call it the machine, and here's what it can do. Imagine an airplane that can record every detail of a flight, from the weather to the featured movie. Then connect that plane with every other airplane to share data. Now they can work together to avoid rough weather, avoid delays, and save fuel, all while protecting customer privacy and company intelligence. What about a mesh of smaller, smarter cell towers to reduce latency, lower costs, and improve security? The possibilities are endless. Finance, retail, manufacturing, healthcare, all turning big data into secure, actionable intelligence using less energy and lowering costs. The machine completely rethinks processing, connectivity, and memory. The machine will use electrons, photons, and ions to revolutionize the way we compute, communicate, and store tomorrow's data. We'll use special purpose processing cores built on HP Moonshot, the world's first software-defined server, to dramatically improve both performance and efficiency in a smaller package. The machine's advanced photonics will let us swap out copper wires and data centers with lasers, communicating with photons instead of electrons so data transmission can keep up with processing growth using much less energy. It will also use memristors, storing data using ions to make faster, cheaper replacement for DRAM, flash memory, and even disk drives. Combining memory and storage, memristors enable universal memory, radically increasing computing efficiency and speed. Thanks to the machine, computing is about to take a quantum leap in performance and efficiency. You'll be able to use the machine to help solve your company's most critical business problems, but that's just the beginning. You'll be able to answer questions you can't even ask today. With the machine, we can build tomorrow's cloud for everyone.